audience welcome to writer city let's talk about books here comes yet another review i hope you all are doing great so today's video is about a young adult genre book cabbageit by kruti mehta doshi krizal first of all i'd like to thank krizal for sending this amazing book to me and i feel so grateful when amazing authors like you send book to me thank you so very much so moving towards the book this book starts with a protagonist kashvi starting with a friend hetvi and they're studying late at night and suddenly they feel really hungry and both of them know it's 11 pm and none of the shops would be open but with a little ray of hope they set out to find some shops to be open hopefully but to their utter disappointment none of the shops are open but then at the corner of her eye kashvi spots a little shop at the corner of the street so both of them walks to that shop and enters it it's a little cozy place and hetvi who lives at that area wonders why she haven't noticed this cafe yet so both of them order something to eat kashvi who is a noodle lover orders noodles and she loves it to the fullest so what she does is she takes a post it note and writes a little review about it and pastes it on the glass wall and signs herself as noodle lover and then happily with a full stomach they come back then the next day the friends decide that they will visit the shop again they walk down the street and to the shop kashvi inquires if her note is still there and it is but guess what with a little change someone has commented on her review someone has suggested her to try a tea and sign themselves off as tea lover kashvi smile and though she was a tea lover she tried the tea and then writes a review again on the post it note telling the tea lover to try reading a book she read at the cafe some book by agasta chris i think and telling them that the suggestion was awesome and then she leaves the next day the stranger tea lover replies again and this goes on and on and they become friends and this goes on for about a month or so and then things turn around kashi starts getting really curious thinking about who the person is she wants to meet this friend of hers she wants to know who has she be talking all this while telling all her thoughts to and then a lots of twists and turns and amazing things happen and this book is a total bliss to read and if i have missed a point or two you will get it from the blurb so just listen to it book blurb what would happen if you suddenly end up making a secret friend in a cafe with whom you exchange everything about your life you have never seen each other but you communicate via post it notes over a cup of tea it is followed by the exchange of giggles secret codes hidden smiles and maybe some feelings love can happen even without seeing each other maybe that's why it's fine and then a note is there ps my story is based on an urban setting and it lacks too much emotional drama so if you are a fan of light hearted story genuine romance and delightful twists and turns in a tale then congrats you have ended up with a perfect read this indeed is a perfect read i would totally agree to that and guess what this book costs only 80 rupees what could be a better deal and then talking about the cover the cover is really beautiful it's so simple yet so beautiful and charming and catching and then again i have this small negative thing i found in the book i saw that the book has a change of povs like sometimes the point of view changes from kashvi to hetvi to the tea lover and then so on but then when you read it you tend to get into another person's world like if you are in my mind you will find a different world and if you are sitting in someone else's mind you will find a totally different world like two people can think so differently about a same situation that it almost would feel like they're not thinking about the same thing but yet they would be but when i read this book i expect that the pov should be different the thinking the mindset should be different but it just feel like it's going in a flow it's always in the author's point of view and not in the character's point of view so it's it feels like the point of view is just a formality of writing like sometimes when kashvi's pov is going on and then hetvi starts i quite can't get the difference the two 
like they're so same you feel like it's the same person like at times i missed the parts about who the person is talking about because the povs were different but the language the mindset the thinking was the same so if that could be changed it would be really good but apart from that it's a really 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 amazing book a splendid book so that's it for this time make sure to give this video a thumbs up comment down below which was your favorite part or have you read this book already share this video with your book from friends subscribe to my channel and up until next time bye bye